welcome to the uh, 2019 Tor Vlog Part 2. Thank you so much for all uh, the feedback on the first vlog, uh, which we did last week, which was up in Scotland, where I had a cracking time in East Kilbride and Stirling. Got back really late from Stirling, well, yeah, five o'clock in the morning from Stirling. Uh, spent the week recovering and doing a few other bits and pieces. Um, this week, off up to the northwest of England, uh, to Morecambe and Liverpool. Uh, interesting week where things have happened at, uh, at last minute, which uh, I'll get around to later. I should have had three gigs, but one of them was cancelled, which is a real shame, and uh, I'll probably talk about that later in the blog. But uh, no, we're going to have a great time. Morecambe is wonderful. Uh, one of my guitars was christened in Morecambe and uh, um, been working. What else have I been working on this week? Oh, yeah, I've been working on some new merch. I'd, I'd love to know what you think of this. Um, a while ago, I did, I, I had memory sticks that um, had my back catalogue on, which seemed to go, seemed really popular actually with people at gigs. Um, I'm thinking of getting a similar thing done, but hang on, I'm, I'm struggling this because you can't do this with a selfie very easily. But you see, you see, um, this place they do these these pens which are really nice pens really nice pens and in the end at the pen is a memory stick you see that do you like that see? so you get a pen and a memory stick uh, I'd love to know what you think of that idea um, we all write the songs it kind of seemed to fit um, so having a pen with the album and all of the chord sheets videos and and that kind of stuff and bonus tracks and everything on them so i thinking of getting some of those made so love to know what you think of that idea um and uh, uh bah, 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 bah. what else what else yeah no it's going to be good enjoy see what's not to like about this place seagulls real real big seagulls So here we go, 10 minutes early, uh, and uh, yeah, looks exciting doesn't it? <laughs> so here we are, West End Impact, and uh, it's a really nice place. Here we go, that's it, chairs all set for tonight, and this is Michael. Hey! Say hello. Hi! Hello. So Michael, what do you do here? Oh, uh, well earlier I hoovered. You hoovered, you're the hoover. <laughs> but I'm the, one of the people who set it up 16 years ago, and uh, we work with people yeah. of all shapes and sizes mm -hmm. and walks of life. Uh, so some of them come to us homeless, um, some of them are on drugs and alcohol dependency, um, some come for food, some come for company, yeah. some come for help with mental health, and uh, we do uh, just spread faith, hope and love. It's great. It's a really good place. And I, I think this is my what, fourth time? E probably, yeah, yeah. Something like yeah. that? Fourth time, yeah, yeah. Fourth we time. love you. That's why we you keep coming you. back. We love you, we love me! <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. So. So here I am at West End Impact. Yay! And there are a lot of Okay, so I'm in the restaurant, bar and grill in Liverpool and I'm with Ian Finch. Yeah! 
And Ian is Ian was part of Supervision. I was. Who are, and I was a huge fan of Supervision. And we haven't seen each other for nine years. Man. Right. Okay. So the big thing about music for you. <laughs> the big thing about music for me is. See, I I I learned to play guitar when I was sixteen. Yeah. And um, by the time I was seventeen, I was playing at church. Yeah. By the time I was eighteen, I was playing in pubs. Yeah. I went to uni at 19 and I met the lads in Supervision. Yeah. And then we, we went at it until 2006, I think. And we yeah. you know, had done the album and the tour and you know, the whole thing. And then straight off the back of Supervision, I did Finchley, yeah. the publishing deal with the that. same label and that. And then I was straight back on stages again. Yeah. And then after Finchley, I then started leading worship and got the two year, two and a half years it was, seconded to grow and develop a music group at um, an Anglican church and coordinate the music. And then once that was running, I went back to Frontline and I led worship there and, and then I got that as far as I could. And I remember, I thought that was it now, I was going to stay leading worship and that was going to be a thing. And I just remember one morning, the team were doing their thing. Thank God, the clearest day was like a voice in the head going, you're done. You, you, you've now supported this as far as it can go and what they're doing on stage not all your job but part of what you brought was that and it's time to step back and let other people make a move and, yeah. and so we did and it coincided with kids and, and business and all the other stuff that life brings and, and actually having that gap has been good but when I play guitar now and I play music yeah here it's still there. I mean, I, I can play scales and chords and I can yeah. write a lyric or whatever, but this, what used to be an extension of my arm, yeah. this guitar, is now kind of wood and metal. Yeah. And I don't feel this need to birth anything anymore. Um, and I think I realised that I never actually did music for fun for anything other than the first four months. Yeah. When it was people in my head playing like, yeah, 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 yeah. in the garage. And, and actually, I think a guitar, when I look back now, is a bit like a laptop. It's yeah. a tool. Okay. And, and so just talking to you now about writing to tell a story, mm-hmm. writing with a purpose, writing with a clear goal in mind, yeah. or something that actually that resonates a little bit. You know, if, if I have something in mind, I'm going, I've got something I want to say a specific thing on a certain day with other people who have that, that community aspect of a common purpose and goal yeah the thing I, re- I realised that's actually music wasn't a thing it was it was a community yeah, it was yeah, a purpose yeah. and there's a music it was a, a means to an end to address a thing or, yeah. or build something or impart something and and um, yeah as we talked for the last couple of hours I think and listened to you how you wrote the new album, what you should say, feeling really stirred, really inspired, yeah. you know, just do something. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. So this is my view at the moment. <laughs> Beautiful weather. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Um, the reason, the reason for having a little bit of time on my hands is because the gig on Saturday night was cancelled, which was which was a real, um, oh, yeah, <laughs> annoying, I think is the word. I, uh, the book, the gig had been in the diary for a few months and I had put it out there saying it was a free date. I had uh, already had um, one gig up here booked on the Friday night. So I was just sort of scouting around to see if I could make a trip of it. And uh, this chap came back and said that he could put me on in the Wirral and so posters were made up and uh, emailed around and all of that kind of stuff. And then five days before the concert, I get an email saying, really sorry, Rob, but uh, we can't afford the gig. We're going to have to cancel it. Just the the perhaps loss of a gig and the loss of a little bit of earnings. Um, but it's also the expense of an extra day out where you're... You know, you're having to look after yourself, you're having to pay for accommodation sometimes, you're having to, you know, there's the travel, there's all of, all of those things, food. I'm very well looked after, fortunately, by um, other people that generally book me, so I'm really, really blessed. So, um, uh, I think it's just important when, when, when 
artists go out that they there's a good communication and maybe that's where I tripped up with this one I don't know um, yeah nice to catch up nice to have some time sightseeing but actually it would have been really nice to have done the gig and maybe next time uh, maybe I just need to be a bit more definite when things are going to happen so see you later in my yeah. In Liverpool, North Liverpool, with Rob Halligan, it's great fun. He was not bad. Amazing. I mean, I probably, I probably could have done. You know, <laughs> yeah, you I'm, didn't know what pedals to do. I had no clue what was going on most of the time, mate. It was that good. <laughs> but he's rather clever. So if you if you look at this lockdown, you think you'd shall I come and see? I like the way I like the way Costa just photobombed it. <laughs> yeah, just, hey, hey, hey. Hey. That's what we love about Costa. Uh, Costas will do this elsewhere as well if you ask them nicely. Yeah, yeah. But yes, it was rather good tonight, and he he nearly filled the place. <laughs> but I was his promoter, so what do you expect? You know, you go. go and see him again. Come and see him. Come, Come and see, see the buy his albums. Oh yeah, buy his albums. Is that what you meant to say like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, is that good? That's so, not being cheesy. Now.